So over here now then I'll lay in wherever I'm going to have this black area on the chickadee. Uh, I'm going to fill that in with the uh, blue. And I just keep doing that and I go up to the areas here where I have the, the uh, other wings and so forth and lay this all in in blue too. Now um, I will come over in this area and pull in softly and then pull back. And I ha as you'll notice I have this drawn in fairly dark and I have uh, intentionally put this on with a, um, a pen because I wanted to make sure that you saw how I was laying all this in. And you can see how I'm just laying this color in because I want blue underneath the black. That way when the highlights will come through as we scratch out a few highlights you'll see that little blue light. And then uh, once I have gone on this bird I go over to the other bird and do the same thing. Then once we have that in let's go to the eye. Now I like to use a um, scroller brush for the eye and I will then go into pecan and mix a little bit of light yellow brown with it and I'm going to lay this in all over the eye in this color just like that and then I'll take a tool and wipe out an area where you want that highest light to be on the eye like that. So once I do that then I'm going to start in over here in this area and just start in and by adding this color and look how soft it is. It's a nice soft color there uh, and I'll fill in parts of the this back shoulder area and uh, let me now take some uh, pecan and, and get just a little bit more of that in here just to kind of warm it up just a little bit but my brush still has that gray color. Just take it up right up to the back area of the neck and you can be you don't have to get too many feathery looks you'll do that on the next time. That'll uh, take care of that and then uh, once you do that then go over to the next area on the uh, the other bird and do the same thing. I will then go to the body area and I will then add just a little bit of the yellow and the uh, light yellow brown together and fill in this area here. And remember these are just going to be highlight colors. And fill that in. Go over on this side, do the same thing. Now the next thing I do is to take the light yellow brown and pecan without any of the gray colors in it and with this brush I'm going to be placing the color like this, pulling like almost like a, um, a curve, like a C curve. And let me just go up here a minute so you can see that brush stroke. I'll leave that there for a second until I get back and that's what I'm going to do all over these areas. Now when I get to the area oh, that's in between the feet I'll come back and use a liner brush and then go in between the feet here and then again move right on round and lay all this area in. So now look at that and let's come back and then let's begin our second fire. Okay now we are we fired and as you can tell that uh, we've lost a lot of, of depth and color really you always it's always going to fire down a little but it looks nice and smooth and the first thing we're going to be working on right now is taking our scroll brush and we're going to go into black. 
So let me hold my palette up so you can see it really good. And I'm going to go into this and kind of swiggle that brush around, not real wet, but enough to be able to make the, uh, just have enough oil on there so that you know you can move the uh, paint around a little bit. And what we'll do here is to go in, in this area here, and we're going to draw a circle right around here. And come up and around. And then another, draw another circle down at the bottom. And I know that is very hard to see. Now then, once I do that, I will then fill in with black and load my brush just like I was showing you. Fill it in with black like this. And then after I've done that, I will take this tool or you could take a little toothpick or whatever, something to dig out the highlight. Now, once you've done that, now then take your uh, quarter inch brush and paint in with pure black. L load your brush, the quarter inch brush with black, and then come in here and start to paint all that blue area in around the eye, pulling it down here. See that little eye pop out there? and filling in the head. Then again, come down the bottom and um, pull this in towards the face area. Put that on. And then kind of let this not be too perfectly sharp here, but kind of let it kind of um, have a few little edges, jagged edges there. And then you'll come into the, uh, the beak before we leave this part of the head. And then I like to get the little line in here first uh, for, the, for the beak separate and put that in. Pull that down and actually outline that area. And you can pull this area down just a little bit. And then fill in part of that beak for some of the shadows. And they have a very small little beak actually. And they're only about five inches uh, long. They're very small bird. Now to, to get a little more highlight on there, you can kind of come back in and pick out a, a light, maybe a little bit down here, a little reflected light too. And then softly kind of work that out so that it, you don't have too many sharp edges. Now then, once we have done that, we then come in and work on the um, this back area here. And what I do is I take uh, the uh, pecan and warm gray because it's really a, a gray color that they have in this area here. And you put this on for these little feathers and just pull back like this. And again, come in here and try to keep it from getting too pure in color. Pull that out. And then those little jagged areas, they just kind of give you a feeling of, of feathers rather than if it's, we don't want it too smooth. And it kind of comes down in here, down to a little point. Now, again, once you have done this to this one, move over and do it again to the other one. There we go. So we have this in and it's somewhat grayed. So because we don't want it too pure, we don't want to get him too orangey because he's, it's more of a grayed color. 
All right, now that we've done that, now we take and go into dark brown and black and you mix the two together, equal portions on your brush. And then just come in on the side here and begin by, the way this bird is facing, you're gonna see a few little of these little feathers come in like this. And then some will come down and then they have some little white markings on the very tips. So if we do that to that one, let's go over and do that to the other one right here. Now the next thing you do is to take and get yourself, uh, um, get the scroller brush and load it with black and brown again. And on this, this time, take your, the liner brush and um, uh, either pre-sketch this in with a pencil if it's easier for you to do. Um, like, uh, let me just use this pencil. I know this, uh, you may not want to use a regular lead pencil, but this is one that I just give you an idea. Uh, if you want to just go over these first to see exactly where you're going to draw. I like to use a wax or a china pencil uh, whenever I really do anything like this. But for, uh, because I'm uh, giving you an idea here as to what to do uh, in demonstration here, uh, I won't worry about that this time. Now see how I come in here and work those up. I get these feathers here and they are all kind of flowing back one on top of the other until I pull this all but each one has to have a each line has to have an edge here at the very back until you have put all that you want in there and it actually comes down a little bit lower so I have to come back here and pull down again. Okay, so um, again, we'll just fill that in and uh, I'm going to come now and work on this area here. And then of course, that we come back in with a, just a little of the pecan and the light yellow brown. And then right here, we're going to take and pull this area in and stay quite light pull this like this and with the brush, see how you get these little kind of a short strokes. And then uh, we'll have, we have a, the leg here. This is all part of the front part. And you lay that in. And then bring this up a little higher like this. They all kind of work together. And then with your larger brush, take your brush the opposite way that you'd put that on and then slightly smooth it out. And then you'll still see some of the texture in there. Like that. And then I like to come up and uh, pull through there just a little bit. Let me pull that just a little bit higher and Soften that out. So let's take a look here. Now once we've done that, you, you make sure that you come back in with just a little bit of blue and black on your brush and you'll go over that little cheek area here, right in here. And then with your dark aqua, come over the stomach right here a little bit. And it acts like a reflex, reflection there. And again over in here. Kind of pull that around and little, have a little of that bluish color. And refine and kind of clean him up a little bit. I thank you very much for watching and painting along with me on this little tape with chickadees.